Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to Allen Point Marina. My name is Jerome and I'm here to show you the ins and outs of this houseboat here. And I would also like to wish you a safe and fun trip. We'd like to start off on the front deck here of these, uh, this houseboat. And I just want to point out a few, th or uh, just a lot of the features on the front deck. Starting off with our fire extinguisher here. Uh, these are regularly checked for operational use. And over here on the left side of the house, we have a throw ring, and uh, we'll go over that a little bit later. We have a, a gas-powered propane uh, grill. Uh, in front of that, we have a set of four anchors, two on each side here, equipped with 150-foot gold braid anchor line. Now, moving across the boat over here, we also have a nice giant ice chest for the very, very hot days and a nice shovel to dig up your holes to anchor the boat. Uh, step ladder to access the front of the boat when you're sitting there on the beach. Uh, with that, we also have three gates on the boat in which they all need to be in the close position when not in use, uh, especially the sides while underway and the front when on the beach. All right, with our gas powered uh, propane grill, we do equip you with a five gallon propane bottle which is located on the back side of the grill here. In order to operate and use your grill, you need to first turn the bottle to the on position in which you have a, a valve on top of the bottle that needs to be rotated in a counterclockwise position. We do equip you with a, uh, a lighter. And with the lighter, what you're gonna do is gonna light, the, light your lighter first, put it into an access hole on the side. From that point, you're gonna come down to your burner. You're gonna press in and rotate again counterclockwise to uh, to give the grill some gas. And once the gas reaches the flame, it's gonna light your burner up, and you can begin to operate in use and cook. Okay, so now that we've covered our features on the front deck, let's head to the back deck, and I'll show you uh, our features back deck. First off, we have a fire extinguisher located on the right side of the houseboat. Stepping forward, we do have a step ladder that gives you access to the top deck. And as a safety request, we do ask that you access the top deck facing the ladder going up and also coming back down. And right underneath the step ladder, we do have a throw life ring with the attached rope. Now that we've covered our safety features on the back deck here, I want to lift up this hatch and go over what is inside the uh, generator inverter hatch here. Okay, so here in the generator engine compartment, I have uh, power supply switches I want to touch, uh, touch base with you. At the top, we have a 50 amp slide pump switch. Under that, a 10 amp generator blower switch. Two 20 amp toilet switches which operate your macerator pump and your water flow pumps for your toilets inside. Under that, three more uh, 30 amp DC power supply switches which are also in the on position. All those switches will remain in the on position at all times. Uh, we also have a 10 amp manual bilge pump switch which is currently off and it will remain off unless you notice some uh, water inside this compartment. Once you notice that, you need to turn the switch on to pump the water out. On the right of that, we also have a uh, toy, tank, uh, toy tank pump switch as well. And uh, it, this operates your external toy tank pump for filling up your ski boats. We also have fuel fills. And in these fuel fills, upon arrival of your trip, before uh, your instruction, you would want to actually come back here and check your fuel levels to make sure it is topped off. In order to do so, you're just gonna open the cap and you can look actually straight down and you should be able to see the gas sheet on top. And uh, I also wanna remind you that when you do arrive on your trip, you are not allowed to bring uh, any sort of uh, toy tank, toy tank fuel, um, your own gas cans. That is uh, prohibited here on these houseboats. So with that being said, we do provide you with a 42 gallon toy tank located under the slide on the back deck. In order to operate, you have your gas fuel handle, just like your normal gas handles at gas stations. And off to the uh, side of the uh, fuel pump here is a lift lever, one of two switches. 
The other switch is always in the off position, but this will activate your fuel pump if you just lift up. Once lifted, your pump should operate for you. All right, another configuration for the uh, uh, toy tank fuel pump system is under a hatch. The tank itself is internal, it's located inside the engine compartment, but same amount of capacity, but the only difference being your fuel handle and your pump switch is in this hatch. In order to activate, pull out the handle, take to your boat, and all you gotta do is just pull this lift lever and it should activate the fuel tank pump. This boat is also equipped with the back deck ladder and this gives you access from the back side of the boat when you're swimming or operating your slide or running down your slide. Uh, gate is also need to be closed while underway or when not in use as well as the ladder needs to be in the upright position when not in use. Right beside me here under these uh, giant boxes, we have uh, one of your outboard motors here on the right side. And uh, upon inspection, your instructor is gonna lift up your motor here. It's a little side button. And what you're looking for with these motors raised is uh, a nice clean prop in, in good working order. No chips and no damages. Okay, so now that we're done with the motor here, that for you and as a safety precaution I want to remind you that whenever you are on the back deck or swimming using the slide all motors on the boat including the generator need to be off with that being said now let's go and move up to the top deck okay so now that we are on the top deck here I want to take a step back and show you this here is the generator exhaust stack. And then with this exhaust stack, it gets extremely hot when in use. So I just want to remind everyone that it is a do not touch. Off to the right side of the houseboat here, we have your slide. And the slide operation is actually very simple. All you gotta do is activate your, your press switch here. And I want to inform you that this press switch does not activate and run continuously. So what you would do is you would open your gate here. You would split, sit down on the slide and while you're sitting on the slide, you're gonna operate your push button here. You're gonna wait till the slide is extremely wet and then from there, you will go ahead and make your way down and have some fun. But on a side note, again, your motors do need to be off at all times when this is in use. So moving on to the center of the top deck. Here we have uh, your top deck bar equipped with a sinking drain. Uh, underneath we got a couple storage compartments for you. And off to the back side here we have a mini fridge which is always on and operating for you. Um, just want to point out that you do have top deck outlets on the bar as well as uh, switches, various switches. And moving on to the front of the top deck, we have your top deck helm, and we call this the flybridge. The flybridge here is where you can operate the houseboat when you're underway. And while underway, we also want to remind you that there is no outside riding on the top deck whatsoever. You have to stay inside the rails or in the seating area at, at all times. So with that being said, let's go ahead and head downstairs and head to the main helm, and I'll run through the operating procedures with you. We're going to start with your key switches here. Key switches just need to be turned two clicks to the right into an on position, as a list or as a written there. Once it's in that on position, all you got to do is just turn and release on the key switches on the starboard side and on the port side. When doing so, keep an eye on your gauges. Make sure that needle shoots up and idles at about around 700 RPM. Um, notice that I do have this uh, mode setting button pressed and labeled under the uh, fuel gauge display. So this is the only display that you have for your uh, fuel capacity on board. Coming over to the throttles here, you have your main handles. With your handles, you have three detents again, four detents, you push forward, right in the middle, line up with the lights, you're neutral, and pull back for reverse. 
and I also want to remind you that in order to fire up these motors your uh, sticks here need to be in a neutral setting again that's lined up with the lights that's the middle setting in order to stop the motor all you got to do is come back to your key switches and two clicks to the left power off underneath the key switches you have navigation anchor light this is mainly for nighttime use only and these lights are at the top of the houseboat or on the side uh, bilge blower off to the left will need to be activated and turned on before starting the generator and it now needs to be running for at least four to five minutes off to the left of that oh horn your horn very loud for you so over here in the corner we have a series of 12 volt switches here uh, and the, most of them are light switches and uh, they these do operate small electronics so your stereo being down off underneath the helm is going to be for your AM FM stereo um, VHF is for your marine radio and your GPS for the Garmin here all right now to cutting up to the top yeah VHF radio needs to be activated by the power switch here rotate clockwise to turn on and notice we are on channel 16 channel 16 is for all hailings and emergencies and if you do come across an emergency for any reason you need to call for national park service on channel 16 they will respond and you will talk to them on channel 16. now if you need to get a hold of Anna marina what you're going to do is you're going to hail them on channel 16 with your mic here key switch the mic on the side there and uh, once Antelope Marina gets a hold of you or responds to you they're gonna ask you to go di to a different channel so you will either press down or up depending on which channel they need you to go to here you have a WX button and this WX button once pressed will take you to a weather update channel and that will just give you a series of updates on weather changes I also want to mention that when you are monitoring channel 16 national park service uh, they do get on the radio and they will warn you of in, in any incoming storm so it is uh, smart to keep this vhf radio on at all times while underway over to the uh, right side corner of the helm we have a series of bilge pump switches auto switch and a manual switch with uh, also uh, lights on the side these lights will be lit and illuminated once the, the bilge pumps detect water in the bilges. Uh, right now we like to keep all these switches in the auto setting because these bilge pumps have a flow switch and these flow switches once activated it will begin pumping water out the sides of the houseboat. If you've noticed those flow switches have failed then you can push down into the on setting on the manual side and notice the illuminated lights. This means your bilge pumps are currently on and running. They will, they are bilging out the water. Don't be too concerned if these, uh, if one of these or two of these lights are on, um, but do uh, raise the question that you know something may be happening if all your lights are on. Okay, so next up, I'm going to show you how to transfer to the top deck helm so you can drive from the flybridge. And it's very simple and all you need to do is turn these key switches into the on position you don't need to turn it all the way to the start and so uh, with that being said i'm going to turn two clicks to the right on both sides and just leave it there in the on position notice that the motor that the motors are currently not running yet so and uh, let's move up to the top and i'll show you what to do from there okay so now that we have the key switches on downstairs we're, we're up here at the flybridge helm Again, before firing up the motors, you always want to make sure your throttles are in the neutral setting, the neutral position. And again, that's directly in line with the lights. So at this, from this point, we're going to step into the air start and stop switches. All you're going to have to do is just press once to release. Once you've done so, you're going to keep an eye on your needle again. Just press start and stop once. Notice the needles are holding again at about 700 RPM. Okay, so now let's take a look at your generator or your AC panel, generator AC panel here. And uh, the generator needs to be running in order to operate uh, such appliances as, appliances as your air conditioning, as well as you know your, your range, your stove. So, starting sequence for the generator begins with a, an, another check. 
Uh, first, you would want to activate your blower at the uh, the helm, the front helm. The little blow, uh, bilge blower switch needs to be activated, turned on, and it needs to be at least running for four to five minutes. That's going to uh, bring in some nice clean air and run out the uh, odors and whatnot in the engine compartment. Um, you can also make a walk to the back deck, check the uh, the swim area, make sure nobody is swimming around the back of the houseboat. Um, you would also maybe open up the hatches, check for uh, the, any fuel in the bilges, or uh, just take a quick smell for fuel odors in the air. All right. So once if once you have done so, you're gonna begin right back up here at the panel. You're gonna make sure a few other some switches are in the off position. We're gonna begin at the bottom here. You wanna make sure your air conditioning compressor and your conditioner is in the off position. Up above, you have a generator switch one and a generator switch two. Both of these both need to be in the off position as well. So with your start and stop switch here for the generator, you can activate your stop side of the switch. And this is gonna activate the fuel pump. You can press and hold for five seconds and after doing so, you're going to press and release on the start side. You don't need to hold, you just press and release. You, from this point, you can listen for the generator to fire up and continue running. Otherwise, you can take a look at your green light switch. It should be illuminated when the generator is on and in operation. Uh, once the generator has been activated, you can go back to your switches and begin turning them on. You're going to start working from the top and work your way down. So from the top, you're going to take your rotary switch and just move it over to the generator setting there. And under that, you have your generator switch here. Turn that on. Notice the green lights again. And this is going to provide the rest of the board with generator power. And from there, you can go and turn on all the necessary switches that are needed. And uh, stopping sequence, again, you're just going to reverse that process. You know, you're going to make sure your switches are off again, starting with your, your air conditioning, both in the off position, your generator, you're going to pull it to the off. And with your rotary switch, back up into the off position again. And with your stop switch, just press and release. Okay, I want to slow you a slightly different configuration at the helm here. Notice that we do have uh, your, your switch, your panel board. And um, most of the switches are the same. You know, you have your DC panel as well as your AC panel, um, along with your short power switches and your generator switches as well. Um, everything basically operates the same, starting procedures are the same. Uh, the only thing we do ask is to use one generator at a time. But if you are switching between generators or need to switch between generators, notice that you do have a generator one and a generator two switch in which only one can be activated at any time. Okay, so sometimes in your starting procedure, the generator may not start up or it will start up and you don't have power. So there's a couple of things that I wanna cover with you. And but for that, we need to walk to the back into the engine compartment and we'll make our checks there. If your generator doesn't fire up at the main control panel, what you can do to reactivate the start sequence is sh shut off your main on and off switch located here. Just press down and off and then back up and on. And from there, you can actually start the generator at, the, un at another uh, start and stop switch here. Just press and release and your generator should uh, fire itself up. Uh, you also have a series of breakers in case your generator is on and running but you don't have power to the main power panel then you would want to check this, your series of breakers here just make sure they're all pressed in as well as your red breaker on the generator make sure that is in the upright position at all times all right starting here in the kitchen you do have an endless supply of fresh water it is filtered uh, moving on into the rest of the uh, kitchen and cupboards you do Come fully stocked with your plates and cups. Um, below you, of course, you have your appliances, which should be in the on position as long as your switches are on on the power panel. But if you do experience no power to an appliance, then you would want to check the nearest GFI outlet. And if uh, you may need to re push the reset button. And again, you know you're gonna find it in certain sections all over the house. 
Okay, so now we're gonna talk about your uh, the toilet system here. And with the toilets and its use, there are a couple switches that you need to be aware of. There's a, a, a fill bowl switch as well as a flush switch. And the flush switch is gonna send all your waste down, all the toilet paper down into the system and you know, grind it all up and from there to the tank. So here on this boat, it is activated by a switch on the top side. Uh, but before you use your toilet, you need to fill the bowl with water and that's activated by the bottom switch. You're just gonna press and hold and while you're holding, it's gonna fill the bowl. After done, you're gonna do your business and from there, hit your flush side of the switch. Everything's gonna go down and into a waste tank. Um, these boats are provided with toilet paper and it, it is a specific type of toilet paper that is only supposed to be used. Uh, none of your household items that you have at home are to be used on the houseboat here. All waste on board is uh, held in a waste tank and in any unlikely event that that waste tank fills up, there is a light indicator located at the front helm. And if once it's illuminated, you would need to begin to make your way back to the marina for a pump out. All right, so all throughout the houseboat, you'll find smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors in every room. Um, these are what the uh, carbon monoxide detectors look like here. And the smoke detectors are your everyday smoke detector. If uh, your carbon monoxide detector starts going off on you, there will be a series of loud beeps. What you would want to do is to open every window on the houseboat and proceed to get all passengers off the boat and onto the beach into some open fresh air. Okay, our houseboats come equipped with uh, a set of life jackets, 12 in total, a throw cushion a first aid kit and a distress flag if needed all for your safety and i also want to remind you that kids ages 12 and under need to be in life vests while the boat is underway we have reached the end of our orientation video and at animal point marina we would like to thank you for uh, choosing us to work with and uh, we would like to also to wish you a happy safe trip while you're out on the water